Now the pachinko machine was a fun experience to get, but then someone gave me a video slot machine. Um, that was completely unexpected, but yeah, here we go. Um, the typical name for these things is called the eight liners. Um, they typically were privately purchased and owned. A lot of these apparently were used in illegal gambling operations because they're cheap and well, they're not that difficult to set up. Uh, but yeah, this one was given to me. Um, really no back info on it besides I didn't need any keys for it because all the cabinets or locked areas are open. But I didn't have a sheet of glass in the front here. I'm assuming that's like, um, smoke glass or something like that. So I'll have to get a new piece cut for that and installed. But it does work. And before I turn it on, let's take a look at the back here, just so I can give a, an idea of it. Again, um, didn't need a key for it. There's no key with thing, but all the locks are open, or in this case here, the lock's been forced open. Um, nothing all that special here. 5 volt, 12 volt power supply. Um, you can barely see in there, it's pretty dark. We do have a single PCB in here. We have the analog board for the color monitor, and this is the color tube right here. And it's worth pointing out, they call these boards here because of the type of slots it's used, um, Cherry Master. And this particular one here is not an original one, it, pe it appears to be some sort of Chinese knockoff. This has seen a fair bit of use before, again we'll get into that. Um, but it all works, it has a single fan in it as well, so it's not all that loud. And just turn it on here so we can play with it, I believe. And I don't have anything set with the dip switches. Oh, no, I, I do have something to set with the dip switches here. Let me just switch that. I don't want to spoil that for you here. It's one little dip switch here that sets a diagnostic mode for uh, graphics. And it just toggles between a bunch of very um, lewd pictures. This has obviously seen use in a, in a bar. This is definitely an 18 plus machine. There we go. But yeah, it turns on. The bell feeder works. The screen is a bit tired, but it's working fine. Um, got these beautiful buttons on it, by the way. And they do light up. We'll open this up first. It's really just typical arcade wiring in here. Um, you have two counters over here. One of these counts when you add bills into it. Uh, and there's these little switches on either side, like this one here will give me these nice statistics on how it works, my games, how they've played, jackpots that have been won, and the like. And the other one just goes through into this. I think I can reset from the button there. But yes, um, there's a couple of clipped ends here and a couple of signs that this has been repurposed at least once before in the past. And yeah, the bill feeder here, it all goes by American currency. It's been someone reset it originally so that it only took $20 bills. It will now take ones, twos, fives, tens, and twenties. But I'm gonna take a bill over here. $20 bill, this one's a pretty recent issue here. What was it? Um, 2013 series. So I'm assuming that, let me just feed this in here. Okay, but it won't fit in there because now I've crumpled the bill. There we go. Yeah, in typical bill feeder manner, it doesn't want to accept any bill I give it. It shows American currency. I've tried Canadian currency, nothing works with it. So I wasn't able to add credits using that. And of yes, this does require credits. Insert coin though, that gives a bit of an option. Maybe it'll take coins. Yes, it does. There's pin eight down here. And all you have to do is ground that. So I've added this little red lead here for now. And these two bolts here, they aren't mounting points. They're just, they're like wiring standoffs. This one here is for a blue wire I haven't tracked yet, but this one here is for uh, ground. So all I have to do is just tap this against the ground bolt. And suddenly, boom, I have credits coming out the wazoo here as long as I just keep tapping it. And I can play with the game here. And oddly, now, double bet, take start, and small, all the light up in different modes and that and so forth. But I can never get big to light up. The bulb is okay, the wiring is okay, so I don't understand there. But yeah, let's say, we'll bet everything all here. Plays exactly like a video slot machine would. Game over, blah, there you go. But, uh, yeah, this is a really unexpected find. I'm gonna have some fun with this once I clean it up a little bit. But, yeah, there's not a whole hell of a lot else to it.